All right, guys. This is Sick Puppy here. We are uh, recording a video. This is a game I actually played myself. Um, I am I, I am playing the Sky Wrath in this. Um, however, that is not who we're going to focus on. Uh, we're going to focus on the axe, and I'm doing this as a request to one of the uh, viewers in my stream. And this is not meant to be a professional cast or anything like that. I will probably most of the time just kind of be laughing at the axe. So um, let's just see what happens here, and uh, you know. I guess we'll get into it. So here we go. All right. So our axe buddy here. He started off buying the old uh, the old eight tangos. He's got the eight tangos, a shield, and a clarity. So he's running down to the bottom lane. Looks like here. He's going to be laning with the Skyrath mage. So he's kind of focused on going over here to this bottom room. So um, I'm gonna wander over here. He wants to get piece of that bottom room. That's what he's after. I personally, when I play axe, I don't go for the eight tangos. So I feel like maybe it's too many tangos, but we'll see. We will see. Sniper has shown up to help contest this bottom room. And looks like the enemy has shown up with the PA over here. We've got the Tide Hunter going top there to try to get that room. Alright, Sniper runs out there. He's going man fight on the PA. Axe jumps in there. Silence is out. Axe now wants to run at the Lion. Gets a swipe off. Nothing happened. It's all kind of falling apart, so looks like we're bouncing out. Axe is now rotating mid. Looks like he's going to walk all the way back to the top lane at this point. So he's going to walk all the way to the top lane. And lane with Tidehunter here. So. He walked right by a sentry ward. Or an observation ward there. <laughs> that we could see. He walks right by it. Well, I guess we couldn't see it. He walks right by an ob ward, so they know he's there. And go straight into auto attacking these creeps because these creeps, these are, these are bad dudes. These creeps are horrible people. The kind of people that rob your money in the alley at night. All right, so we're gonna dive behind the creeps, and then we're going to get some counter helixes off. He's doing axe things, but he's in too deep. He's in way too deep at this point against the Bloodseeker. Tide comes in, tries to save him, but it's not gonna be enough to keep him from getting taken down by the Luna. So we've got a, uh, a double kill going down. He does buy a TP. He's going to dive back in. He's down two tangos. He is he is not phased at all. He is he's going right back into the fray. I mean he is axe after all. So he's going to stand there. He's waiting for his buddy to come back. All right. And he's just kind of watching to see what happens to the tide hunter. He's like, hey, buddy, you really want to walk up there and see what happens? I'm going to stay back here, man. That's dangerous up there. We don't go up there. We don't cross that bridge without creeps. It's boopy. All right, so there we got the silence coming out from the Bloodseeker. Luna with some loosen beams. And then again, he has to run. He has to run. Stops to eat a tree. And he's going to dive back in. He smells blood. He smells blood. Unfortunately, he is diving on a Bloodseeker who also smells blood, and, uh... Oh, looks like he's gonna make it out. He's gonna make it out to go eat some more trees. So he's gonna grab himself some trees. Went ahead and bought himself a Ring of Health. That's good. Needs that. Yep, see, there's the next tree. Being, uh... Being effective on eating the trees appropriately, not stacking them or anything. Another beam from Luna on the tide. So there's the battle hunger. Some counter helixes. He's got low, but then he runs. He gets them low and then he runs. I don't think that was the play. I think if he would have stayed, he could have gotten a kill there. That was a little bit of panic 
little bit of panic. All he needed was one more counter helix, and that Bloodseeker would have been done for. But instead, we now have another double kill. He goes ahead and buys himself another TP. He's going to jump right back in down here at the bottom lane now. Got the PA and the lion down here. We get a battle hunger off. A couple of uh, counter helixes on the creeps, and then he just decides to auto attack these creeps because we gotta get rid of them as soon as possible. These creeps here are just dangerous to society. Not a whole lot happening right now, still just kind of trying to get some early farm. He did put that level in Battle Hunger. I really feel like uh, some levels in Call would have been way more effective at this point. Um, definitely, I would say, a mistake there. But uh, I don't know, maybe he's going for a new, a new build here, a new meta build. The, uh, the Battle Hunger uh, Max First Axe play here is, I think, what we're looking at. So he's going to, he's going to probably go in here. He's got the Skyrath lurking around on the side over here. An Arc Warden. But I guess there is three enemies and the Lions there got plenty of stuns to keep it from getting out of hand. So maybe he's just going to back up. Just going to back up and wait. He's not really doing a very good job of keeping an eye on the, uh, the enemy. He's watching the creeps a lot. Watching himself a lot. But he definitely not seeing where the bad guys. So there's a battle hunger. Battle hunger's out. But without a call, they just keep running away. And now there's a silence. It misses. And then the other team just backs up. And there goes another tango. He's down to two tangos. And he gets a couple of last hits here. How many last hits does the old uh old axe have? Okay, he's got he's got six last hits at this point. Rocking six last hits, so he's uh, he's not the bottom of the list, but uh, as an axe, you would like to see more last hits than that. So there he goes. He's diving in. He gets he gets a kill there. He gets a counter heal at the right time. And Bloodseeker's running. He's going to take a couple tower shots here. Three, three tower shots. Four, five, five shots on the tower shot meter. And uh, he's definitely going to have to get some some tangos here. Nope, he's going to go straight for the TP back to base, it looks like. Oh, nope, he gets caught up. Bloodseekers found him. That, uh, that thirst, the bloodthirst, he got caught. And then now, he's watching the Bloodseeker go down. And so he's going to go look at the shop here. I'm gonna sell his iron branch. He doesn't need that. Gonna get some brown boots. Get some brown boots in his life. And then what's he gonna buy? He's gonna buy another TP. So he's got two PPs, some brown boots. Now he's ready to run. He's got the speed boots. We call him Mario Andretti now. He's battle hunger out on the Luna here. Walk forward behind the creeps here with his buddy Tide Hunter. He goes in. Oh, now he's got call. That was a whiff. That was one called whiff. All right, now he's standing there. Oh, lion's done. He misses that. He got lucky. Tide's going in now. Okay, now he's got to go back in. Nope. They've decided they're out. They're done. They're done. He's out of tangos now. So. No regen left, so he's got the one, one point in call, two points in battle hunger, and one point in counter helix for his build here. He's looking at the shop here, can't decide what he wants. Uh, while he's waiting on the clarity to work, he is just going to run away from the tower. He's not going to help defend it. The enemies are kind of pushing on it, so that's maybe a safe play, given the situation. He's kind of taking a look at mid lane here, seeing the sniper getting a little bit of farm. He's waiting on the carrier. That's what he's waiting on. Okay, he's called the carrier. He's got uh, ring of protection on it. It's coming his way. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. 
He's looking at the creeps up there. He's still kind of just waiting for his clarity to... I don't know. He's full up. I don't know why he's waiting on the clarity at this point. I guess he wants to make sure none of that clarity goes to waste. There's a stun from Lion. Beam from Luna. He pops the call. He whiffs the call again. That's two missed calls. Got a battle hunger out. Tide slows him down. And there's the ultimate from Luna. And looks like they might be able to get him. It's a fight. It's a fight. They go down simultaneously. They go down at the same time. Looks like Axe got the first blow. So at least he's going to get out with the experience on that. He went ahead and finished up his boots. He's got some tranquil boots now. Nine minute tranquil boots. He's also got 800 gold left. <clears throat> He's going to go ahead and buy, uh, looks like a sage mask and another um, ring of regeneration. Grabs another TP. It's good to see that he's at least got some TPs on hand. If he could hit a call or two, that would be good. So here he goes. He's whacking on some creeps here. Got that auto attack happening. He's believing in some RNG's action for the creep last hit. Doesn't seem to be working out in his favor. He is still only rocking seven last hits. So not uh, not necessarily the uh, most effective way for last hitting, but hey. That's what we got happening today, so. He is still above the tide hunter, though. We gotta, we gotta make that thing happen. He's looking at the teams there. And then uh Where's he going? He's gonna wander off here. Oh, he's looking at the bottom. There's a the fight going. He's trying to get down there. Nope, he's just standing there waiting for the creeps. But he's not even paying attention to what's happening. He's watching watching what's going on over there. No last says. What's his what do you think his net worth is right now? Let's go check that out. Oh, we got the battle hunger off and the call. There's another beam though. It's not gonna be enough to take down the Luna. He's not hitting. He's hitting for kittens right now. He doesn't have enough going on, so he's gonna go back. He's uh, gonna go to the side shop there. We'll walk back by the top tower here. His net worth is setting at 2,100. He's setting at 2,100 right now. Um, he's beating the tide, the lion, and the sky wrath right now. But he is underneath everybody else. Okay, he finished the soul ring. He got a soul ring finished here. A little extra mana. Make sure he can cast all those battle hungers that he's maxing out. I think maybe somebody needs to order this axe of pizza. Maybe he won't be quite so hungry. We'll focus on, uh, you know, doing axe things. Again, we've got the auto attack creep machine here. Lion comes in with a stun. He's draining the mana. Misses the call. That's three missed calls. Three whiffs. Oh, he catches a beam from the loon on his way out. He's gonna he's gonna walk back to the well. He's gonna walk back to the well. He's gonna go keep an eye on what's going on in the game here. He's watching the, uh, the Sky Wrath and the Arc Warden hang out over here in the bottom lane. Sky Wrath pops some mana boots for everybody. And then we go in with another TP. Oh, he's got TPs. And now he's looking up at the axe, who, or the sniper who was able to give up the tower here. But he is TPing back in. He's TPing into the tier two. He's running in. He's trying to get in here in time. He jumps in. He gets the battle hunger off. And the call. There's a call. He gets. He nails one call. He is one for five on calls, and they get a kill. One for five on calls here. Dominating. One for five? One for four. Let me say one for five. I made you. Checking out the bottom lane here. Arc Warden goes down. Bloodseeker gets the kill. Looks like we got a uh, Ember Spirit playing around in the secret shop. He's looking to maybe get, get himself a piece of that. In heat. And. 
The Ember Spirit escapes. Tower is under attack. All right, Axe is uh, Axe is staying in there. He's gonna get uh, he's gonna get that auto attack on the creeps back on. Still having some bad luck with the uh, RNGs on the auto attack plan. Setting at 13. 13 last hits right now. There you go, we got him the last hit there. He's got 1400 in the bank. He's probably going to need to go ahead and purchase something here. He decides to hold on. Nope, he bought something. What did he buy? Oh, he bought himself a ring of health. Okay. I'm good there. He's, uh, he's watching the bottom. While he's switching to mid. All the while, he is standing still in the lane. Well, he got himself a couple last hits there with some auto attack counter helix action. He's now maxed out. Uh, he's now got fully maxed out battle hunger. Now he's working on counter helix. He did get one point dunk, so maybe we'll get to see some dunks here. Now he's going to walk back to base with full health. I'm not really sure what his play here is. He's talking trash. 15 minutes in, we got some trash talking happening. He's got that well held down. He's busy. He's busy getting his type on. The lion has now caught him in last hits here. He's going to TP back top after walking all the way back to the well. Not really sure what he went back for, but uh, he did TP back, and now he doesn't even have a uh, doesn't have a TP. He's up here standing in creeps, auto attacking. Oh, he sees them pushing mid. He's going to try to rotate through the radiant secret shop area to get down here. He's going to go down by the river. He's going to try to flank him. Flanking maneuver. But, uh... He's going to walk right past the lion. And go through the trees here. And he gets down there and nobody there. So there's the lion. So he gets a battle hunger off. Call. A stun. And the tide gets the kill. Battle hunger out on the Luna. Oh, and then he decides he doesn't want any of that. He did, he's like, nope. There's some bad people there. Wait, maybe I do want to go back in. The rest of my team's there. He is trying to hit the blood seeker in the bubble. And there's a dunk. That's what we're talking about. He gets two kills out of that. Now with 2200 gold, he's going to walk all the way back to the shop. Nope, he's going to rotate bottom. I apologize. Oh, he's going down there. And he's cussing at the arc. Just won a team fight. I'm down here back on the bottom. I'm gonna get the, the right clicks on down here. I would say he's probably building towards a blink dagger. I assume since he's holding on to money. And then he goes and he upgrades the carrier. Good guy axe upgrading the carrier at 17 minutes. He's gonna walk by everybody in mid. He's got some items coming in on the on the carrier here. What did he pick up? Oh, he finished his vanguard. He now has a vanguard. So he's better much going suggested build here, looks like. He got caught by a bolo. He's in the middle of team fight. He's trying not to get silenced. He's got a call off. He's standing there. Big old ravage. Oh, Fanger. Fanger from the line. And he's down. Axe is down. And here comes the pings. The angry pings. Let everybody know that the lion was there. And that is a team wipe. 
That's a team wipe. That is probably going to be mid towers. Again, he's all about reporting the arc. <coughs> if his team did not hear it in the first uh, ten times he said it, everybody's getting reported here. We're all going to be in low priority soon. Radiance Middle Tower ain't radiating no more. I'll vouch for that, you know what I mean? <laughs> Alright, he is back alive. He is uh, running Radiance out with his Vanguard finished. He is, uh, looks like we might be going to build a uh, Crimson Guard maybe next. Still think maybe Blink would have been the proper choice. Still, still he did finally get call or, uh, Counter Helix maxed out. Uh, another Battle Hunger out. He's, got, he's ruptured. He is ruptured. He does get the dunk, but he is running scared right now. He's running back to the well. He's running back to the well. Is he going to make it? He made it. He made it. Ran all the way back to the well with Rupture on. He made it back. So he's got himself a, uh, a chain mail and a uh, mage's robe, right? Right over the magi. Same difference. And he's going to dive back out here. Running past the creeps. He's going to go. He's going in. He's got the battle hunger out again. Done. And then he's stuck there. Punching the creeps. He's getting a little bit more farm there. Still feel like a blink dagger would have been a better choice for the axe. Um, team is kind of behind, but still, I feel like being able to blink call would be, be the better choice. Um, not familiar with the uh, Battle Hunger fill first build for Axis, so this is uh, just seems kind of shady, kind of shady. Maybe he's throwing for skins. Maybe he plays for I buy power or something. CSGO reference, in case anybody didn't get that. This guy definitely couldn't hold down a job as a. <laughs> <coughs> As a telemarketer, his calls are just not hitting point. And he, uh, he throws out the battle hunger on illusion, gets it, gets that illusion taken care of, and then uh, he calls down a bunch of creeps or counter heals down a bunch of creeps. Sorry. And he runs back. Now he's gonna run back in. Oh. He's standing next to Skyrath. He's running all the way back to what it looks like here. He is. He's up to 29 last hits, however. Let's check out his net worth. Let's see where he's at on that. Alright, he's got Blade Mail finished. Ought to be able to get uh, get involved in some more team fights. He's got a... There's a call. He got a call on two. Unfortunately, the whole rest of the team is there. He gets blown up by the finger from Lion. He is down. He's down for 37 seconds here. Take a look at the arc warden here. The Luna is going to town here with uh, the Glaives. They're just shredding these buildings at this point. Alright, so Axe is back up. Got 150 gold to his name. He's going to run out here and try to defend the uh, the base here. No, he stops by the <coughs> uh, by the effigies here. He's going to check it out and just stand there for a minute. Catch his breath. Running around Radiant's trying to call people. Throwing out the battle hungers. Tiresome. Team's punching in on the top lane here. We got that uh, got that stand around thing happening. Maybe he had to sneeze, blow his nose. He's got a cold. I'm gonna hide in the tree over here. Let the creeps punch on the tower a little bit. 
trying to be sneaky. He's got his sneaky boots on. He's going all sneaky beaky. He's gonna walk out. He's gonna stand there while the tide cleans everything up. He's there for moral support, cheering on the tide, getting those creeps backed up out of the base. And standing in the middle of the base, he's just kind of waiting. He's uh, he's scared to go out, scared to go get some farm. Doesn't really have any good way to initiate at this point, though. So I guess I can kind of understand that. No, well, he fake. He, he did a fake. He faked at the top lane. Now he's gonna he's going bottom here. Looks like we're gonna he's gonna go towards the team fight here. Maybe it's gonna happen here in the bottom lane. Nope, nope. Can't go to the team fight. Let's click on the Arc Warden Tide Hunter. See what they all got. Check out Skyrath. While he's doing that, he gets caught out. He's busy checking about everybody's items. Man, he is dead. He's dead. He got caught out checking out items. He was window shopping and got beat down. Finger from the lion wipes everybody out. Skyrath comes in, tries to help out. Sniper might be able to get him a little lion here. He's watching, he's looking, he's looking. We got nothing. PA runs him back. Lion does escape. 18 seconds more, he's down. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. The big red machine is uh he's not trolling along. We'll get a pause here. We'll get an unpause. The battle resumes. PA jumps in, he's gonna get him some sniper. He is back. Tides down. Sniper gets the PA. And Ember Spirit finishes off the Skyrath. Axe is still standing in base. Making sure that fountain is secure. Got that fountain on lockdown. Gotta protect that courier. I mean, that is a badass looking courier. Gotta make sure we protect that. We're standing there, checking things out. And he's like, well, let's look around the map here. We got uh, bad guys coming top. Yep. No tier one there, buddy. Look at the look at the team list again. Just taking a peek at the top lane. Looks like he might be rotating top here. I'm gonna try to get him to find into some of this. If he's gonna he's gonna deny he's gonna deny a structure. Run away from the Ember Spirit. He doesn't want to get involved in any of that. He throws out a Battle Hunger. And then. Gets a call off on two. Pops the Blade Mail. They run away. He does get himself a dunk. And the Lion is running away. Getting his escape on. Turns him into a frog. And then a stun. Yeah, PA's there. PA's there and he's down. He's down. Rage buyback. Instant buyback. That's what we call a rage buyback. He's going back in. He is, he is not done here. He feels like he can provide more to the defense of this top one. He gets, this is a call, gets stunned, and then blown up by the team, the other team. They all just right click him down pretty much. He's dead now. He's checking out the lion stuff. Down for 45 seconds. And that is two lanes of racks that are now down. Keeps pushing in here the up the middle here. Watching the tide. The tide is going to get beat up here. The PA is going to blink jump him again here in a second. He's not going to make it back to the Nope. Luna's going to jump in and finish it off. He didn't even wait for the PA to do it. And we got Luna throwing out the glaives. They're bouncing all over the place. This is a rough day to be a tower or a effigy today. Arc Warden gets his bubble out, but I don't think that's what And then he runs out of it. He throws the bubble and runs out of it. But he does make it back to the well. Axe is back. There's a sniper shot. Ember Spirit comes in. Battle Hunger. Call. Blade Mail. And there's a kill. Back to the wall. Back to safety. Op shot. 
Almost takes out the lion. Axe is running in. He's trying to get there. But he turns into frog. He's stunned. Bloodseeker's in there. There's a little ultimate. Blade Mail does not save him this time. He was able to get the kill on the Bloodseeker, however. Off shot. Takes down the lion. He's down for another 30 seconds here. He doesn't have buyback. Let's take a look at some of the team graphs here for a minute. XP graph is, uh, looks like Radiant's down about uh, what was that, almost 20,000 20, experience. 25,000 plus in gold. This is not looking good for the team. Axe's net worth is now at 7,300. He is just barely above the Sky Wrath and just barely below the Arc Warden, but every member of the other team is now ahead of him. He is uh, doing a little shopping. Got himself an Ogre Club. He's going to go He's gonna go get him some creeps now. Try to get some more farm. Bunch of right clicking on creeps. Enemy team seems to have pulled back here. Tower is under attack. He's going down. He the battle hunger off. Catches the slide of fist to the face. Pops the blade mail really early. Wasted on creeps there. He's gonna circle around. He's just kind of waiting. He's waiting to see what happens. Blade mail is off cooldown. He did finally get three points put up into call, so he should start being able to uh, get some people held in place for a minute here. But he's going to walk back next day next to the effigies again here. And, uh, okay, the team fight's breaking out. He wants to get in there. He gets a call off on the Ember Spirit. Blade mails out. Stun. Finger. Finger doesn't catch him, now what the Bloodseeker gets him, silence, and he's done, PA just blows him up. How many daggers am I holding up? Looks like the mid tower is definitely in trouble here. Lion, Lion's fearless, he's going in with like 250 health, he's going to go down to a tower shot. He's now kind of keeping tabs on the... Tide here. Tide's busy trying to take care of these, these creeps that are punching everything down here. Meanwhile, enemy team is uh, punching the bottom barracks and towers. There's not too many buildings left in this uh, in this place. They've pretty much cleaned it up. Mega Creeps are up. Looks like Axe is going to respawn maybe one more time before they take the base here. He buys himself a song. She finishes his song. And he's going in. He's going in. Nope. He backs up. He's going to uh, stand there. Oh, he gets caught standing outside the base. He's ruptured. He's standing in the silence now. He's been silenced. And that is game. That is game. So I do feel like, from Axe's perspective, he definitely should have built a call. Definitely not a telemarketer. Missed a lot of good calls, uh, especially early. A couple of calls there would may have changed his uh, his game plan. So that's what we've got. That's how we that's how we follow the the Axe around. He's eight and eleven. Um, did not get much farm at all. Did not get much farm at all. Uh, probably I didn't get to see the final tally, but. Uh, Skywrath Mage looked like he had just about as much farm as the Axe did. Uh, he only reached level 14 and uh, didn't quite get uh, didn't quite get everything that he needed to uh, be effective in this game. So. That is the end of the Axe cast, guys. And uh, there you go.